Hello TV fam and uh, welcome to another vlog. So it's currently mag 11 p.m. na. Naisipan ko lang i-share sa inyo yung discussion na nagkaroon ako with our uh, mortgage broker to discuss yung uh, mga potential changes na meron tayo regarding sa work nga natin. Kasi nga may impact yan kahit pa paano talaga sa magiging application mo for mortgage. And uh, gusto kong i-share sa inyo kung ano yung napag-usapan namin para magkaroon kayo ng idea, makaka-apekto nga ba yung uh, changes mo or paglipat mo ng trabaho sa magiging mortgage application mo? Um, paano siya makaka-apekt? Mayroon bang positive? Mayroon bang negative? na factors kung halimbawa mas mataas yung sahod I think hindi man magiging problema yon pero what if kung mas mababa yung sahod compared doon sa original paano yan makaka-apekto doon sa tinatawag na purchasing power mo sa property na balak mong bilhin so yan ang pag-uusapan natin and if interested ka sa topic natin keep on watching the video So, gagawin natin today, uh, bala kong tawagin yung isa sa mga uh, mortgage broker na nakausap ko na before, nung uh, bago pa kami magplano na magbenta nung, uh, eto, itong uh, property namin. Kasi gusto namin malaman magkano ba yung magiging potential uh, purchase price na pwede nating ma-avail based sa ating income. So, tatawagin natin siya, hopefully sumagot siya. Uh, and then, pag-usapan lang natin kung may changes nga sa employment, how will that affect yung ating magiging uh, potential purchase price? No? Kung magbago man yung income natin, tumaas, bumaba, uh, at least malaman natin sa kanya kung ano yung mga pagbabago sa pwede nating makuha. So, tawagin natin siya. Sana makausap natin. Chris speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Chris. It's uh, John here. Oh, hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I, I just have a, a question. I know we uh, kind of like uh, put a pause in our plan, uh, but I wanted to check with you uh, just because there was uh, changes in circumstances. If I would be uh, changing my current job, how will that affect the potential uh, purchasing power or the potential um, evaluation of our application to get a mortgage? Um, well, change, I mean, the, the longer you've been somewhere, the better. Correct. Uh, but lots of times people start new jobs yeah. and they are in the same line of business. Yes. So it only, so if you're in the same line of business, it sometimes can pose a problem when during your probationary period. Okay. Um, but sometimes it, it, sometimes I can, I can get past that with the business case, just saying probably you're not going to get fired. It's just a formality. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm not, if, if, if you start a new job and you're past your probationary period and it's the same line of business that you've always been in, uh -huh. then it's a non-issue. Oh, I see. Okay. If you start a new, a new job and it's not in the same line of business and you're on a probationary period, it would be that once you're permanent, full-time, no problem. No problem. It won't matter. Yeah. And the, the probation matters when it's new business to you. I'm actually moving um, uh, to a different role. I was currently with, uh, you know, as I've mentioned before. Now I'm shifting gears and moving towards the public sector. But it's still in the same line of field that I was in my previous job. Given, given that I'm shifting, but it's, you know, it's still in the same line of field. Do you think I would be able to make a move still if... You know, we decide to like sell our place, and uh, that won't pose a concern on our ability to secure mortgage with lenders. <laughs> it's really, it's so hard for me to say that because it's an ex so. If you're on probation, it yeah. Won't be a problem. If you're on probation, it, I can't give you a definitive answer. Gotcha. It depends on the whole application. Like, if you guys are strong and you, you sound to me like you are, mm -hmm. it should be a nothing burger. 
But okay. if there's a bunch of hair on the ball and there's a bunch of credit risks, it might be a problem. Okay. Um, just the probationary period of time. How long is probation at your new job? The standard probationary period is six months. Yeah, and are you going to want to move before six months? Uh, yes, but if I am to make that move, I'm just thinking we might need to pull the trigger come January or February or even December, but I'm not so sure if you know how will that pan out and that's the reason why i would like to maybe get your expertise how will that affect our ability to secure a mortgage well i haven't i haven't had a problem with people when mature people mm -hmm. like not i mean people you're not new to employment you're not 18 yes, yes. um when mature people change their work just to make more money same money business i've never had a problem Okay. But I, I can't, I don't want to say, oh, it's no problem at all. I mean, Correct. it's got to be addressed, right? Yes, yes. Um, and if you're strong in every other way and uh -huh. you're five months into your six month probation, yeah. I can't see it being a problem. It would only be if there's a red flag. So you're, you're asking me to give you an answer. I don't have a full app from you, so I can't. Yeah. So, I can't give you like a hundred percent answer, but I feel like you'll be fine. Okay. What would you recommend that we do? Do we even try to apply, you know, just to see if lenders would be receptive of our application? How, how would you want to like approach it? What's your recommendation? We, we can't get a pre-approved weather scenario. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. They didn't, there's no one that will do that. Oh. The, the credit decisions are based on. You, you actually, you have to rely on my experience and what I do. That's about as far as we can get. Um, yeah, there's no one. That, they won't do full underwriting until there is a, a, a purchase agreement because they're not going to deploy any resources to a what if scenario. Like your credit could change. You yeah. could have a bankruptcy coming down the pipe. Anything can happen. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, but I always tell my clients to live their life and I will make the financing work for them. Like don't ever not make a move mm -hmm. that's going to work out for you and your family because you're worried about getting a mortgage. Like that, that shouldn't even be a discussion. A discussion. You take it. Okay. Yeah. Take the job. Mm -hmm. move, move, move your career. Unless you think you're going to get your butt fired. Then, no. <laughs> um, yeah, carry yeah. on and I'll make the financing work. If I remember correctly, mm -hmm. sorry, we talked at the beginning of summer, um, but you guys had a pretty substantial down payment, right? And you had pretty high income. I could look at my notes. Yes, I, yes, yes. Yeah, I feel like I feel like it's going to be a nothing burger. Okay, okay. Okay, but uh, maybe a few changes on here in terms of like income per se. If I would be, because uh, with public, um, you don't get like bonuses, right? In terms of what I can get in terms of monetary value, when I uh, compute the total, it's a bit less because I don't have a bonus. But do you, are you going to need all the mortgage you qualify for? Sorry? Are you are you going to uh, need a bigger mortgage than, than what you qualify for? No, initially what I what we qualified based on your competition is around I need to just open up your file. Okay. Down. Yeah. If I pull the trigger uh before the year ends, what do you think will be the potential purchase value that we can get? Okay, so being conservative at Yes. So that so put your purchase price up around is that going to be enough? Uh, I think so. We plan to, you know, still be conservative. Okay. Okay. Super. Because, um, like, there's, I have tricks too, right? Like, I'm, we're going, we're going high on the strata payments and the property taxes. Mm -hmm. And then there, there is one lender that would let me go. Yeah, there's, there's Scotia Bank will let me go right to forty four percent gross TVS. So okay. That, so. You're, you're still going to be able to achieve your dreams. Okay. <laughs> We're still going to be able to do what you want to do. Okay. I, I don't uh -huh. think I don't think you need to fuss. I don't think you don't not take this job uh -huh. because you're going to be getting a mortgage. Yeah. You're, you're doing the same thing. With, okay. It all it all makes sense. Okay. Perfect. In terms of like interest rates, where are we at? Do you know or? Uh, um, I am. Well, it's a moving target. Moving target. Yeah. So I'm doing insured five-year purchases at four point three four right now. 
I don't know where the five year would be, but I we'd probably put you in a three year around four point seven five. Yeah, I think that was your recommendation to go on a three year fix that, because of. Very, it, it could change when you guys move, right? Yeah, yeah. It won't. I will always recommend a three year fix. Uh, it's estimate or sorry, it's predicted that Bank of Canada is going to lower their rates in October mm -hmm. and then it's going to lower the rates again in December, mm -hmm. and then they're going to keep lowering next year and get their overnight rate down to two and a half percent or three percent. Okay. So eventually, it might make sense to go or talk about the prime, but right now. Time is still at six point four five. So okay. any 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 variable rates at five and a half, and and the fixed rates are like three quarters of a percent lower than that. So it's still not making sense to go variable. And and for some people, variable is just not an option because it's just too risky. So pinag-usapan nga natin yung purchasing power, you no? Know? And uh, parte ng ginawa namin proseso is hindi naman kami to Miguel sa paghahanap uh, or pagtingin ng mga available properties dito sa Richmond. And nabanggit naman ng ating mortgage broker na rates are starting to go down. no And uh, part of that would be, you know, ang maapektuhan dyan would be yung prices. Normally, pag bumababa yung price according to what I heard, kung napansin nyo yung past vlog namin, itong nakikita nyo dito sa screen nyo, Yung mga townhouses na nakikita namin dyan, I think majority of which is 1 million and up for the sizes na around between 1,400 square feet up to 1,600 square feet. Isa lang yung nakita namin na nasa 900,000. But as the months go by, nakita namin na medyo dumami yung mga available townhouses na nasa same size requirement, same number of rooms, same number of washrooms, na nasa below 1 million na. You know, sa pagbaba naman ng prices na yan, hindi lang naman yung interest rate yung, I guess, nagiging factor dyan. Malaking factor din talaga dyan is yung unemployment rate. No, kapareho nga na sinabi ko sa previous vlogs natin, kung napanood nyo yun, sinabi ko sa inyo na dito sa Richmond, ang unemployment rate is currently at 5.6. Diba, ang iniiwasan nila is mapunta tayo sa 6% range dahil hindi na healthy pag pumalo tayo doon. Dahil dyan sa uh, unemployment rate na tumataas, no, dito particularly sa location namin, ibig sabihin, humihina din yung mga buying capacity or buying power ng mga tao dito. Meaning, hindi nila ma-afford yung mga million and up na mga townhouses dahil nga, number one, either wala silang trabaho or if, you know, kapareho natin, uh, malumipat tayo ng trabaho tapos yung uh, income natin is not as big compared doon sa original natin, we are still blessed na meron tayong trabaho unlike yung mga iba nating either kababayan or even mga locals dito that they're really struggling to find a good job to employ them. So yun, yun yung uh, one of the factors na nakita natin kaya talagang nadadrive niya yung price to go down. Hindi naman drastic but it's slightly going down as we continue to attend site visits and as listings uh, comes up in the market. At yan lang ang mga naging observation namin dito sa Richmond. Yeah, agreed, agreed. So for, in terms of like the fix, uh, three-year fix, what was the rate that you're looking at? And I just, I'm just i doing two right now for 4.77. 4.77, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's that's an exception rate. Like I've grinded up the bond at four nine nine is easy. Okay. Um, but but the bond yields. We just watch the bond yields, and the bank, the bond yields are what it takes what fixed rates are going to do. Okay. And the bond investors try and predict what the bank of Canada is going to do. So fixed rates, the rate reduction gets baked in before the bank actually makes their announcement. Gotcha. Everyone okay. Everyone thinks that if the bank lowers rates, all the rates came down. That's kind of not the case. So oh. fixed rates are a bit lower than they should be right now based on where the Bank of Canada is. Okay. But that's because the bond traders think that rates are going to continue to come down. Okay. Gotcha. Anyway, okay. that's a lot of verbal diarrhea. It's <laughs> change, and so we won't, have, we won't have a plan to you guys actually do move. Yeah, yeah. 
was that's where we are right now today. Okay, awesome. You know, I really appreciate the uh, the information that you provided. I'll talk to my wife, you know, just so we can start making decision. And yeah, so uh, I thought I lost you. I thought you already bought and you just like, no. <laughs> it's good to know that you just haven't moved yet. And, yeah, yeah, there was like uh, changes, you know, in uh, our uh, circumstances. So good. Yeah, no, exciting okay. times. It's okay. just don't make it. Don't move when you've only been one week into the new job. That that will be problematic. Yeah. For a couple months. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> I could probably still work with it, but you know what I mean. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> that sounds good. You know, I'll, I'll keep in touch, Chris. Once um, uh, everything's already set in stone, still on moving forward with you know the original plan of upgrading. Cool. Then I won't. I won't be afraid of losing you. I know you'll get in touch with me if you need me. Sounds uh, awesome, John. Thank you so much, Chris. <laughs> Yeah, take care. Okay, bye-bye. So, you know, I was the mortgage broker. Natin. So, it's a go. Uh, good thing. Uh, walang, masyado, walang concern, no? Sabi niya nga, as long as you're moving on the same field, she doesn't see na it will be a concern sa application natin, uh, which is a good sign. Uh, although may changes in pay, you know, kasi nga, previously I have uh, bonus bonuses, and uh, dito sa public sector, walang bonus, right? Apart from that, uh, sabi niya lang is do not move, you know, I guess a few weeks or a month even into the job. Uh, medyo patagalin mo para at least mas solid yung magiging story niya na ilalagay doon sa application ng mortgage. And yun nga, sabi niya it wouldn't be a concern or a problem. So, that's a good thing. I'll keep you posted kung ano yung mga next things na gagawin namin. So again, maraming maraming salamat sa panonood. Uh, kung meron kayong napulot na impormasyon dito sa vlog na to, please uh, hit that like button. At kung hindi pa kayo subscriber ng aming munting channel, please click that subscribe button, that notification bell, para lagi kayong updated sa mga bago naming upload. Na kung meron kayong mga suggestions or meron kayong mga based on your personal experiences na may share nyo sa amin, no? lalo na naghahanap kami ng property at uh, we plan to secure mortgage, kung meron kayong mga tips na, pag, na napagdaanan nyo and uh, you are living here in Canada, please comment down below para ma-share nyo naman sa amin na sa ganoon, may apply din namin yung mga tips na meron kayo regarding sa mga gantong situations or scenario na napagdaanan nyo dito sa Canada. So, maraming maraming salamat sa panonood at uh, magkita-kita tayo ulit sa susunod na vlog. Paalam! City of mine How I love How I love The city of mine It never gets me down, city of mine